Hi everyone, welcome to how to design concrete elements using the RC design module. I'm Daniel Vivas, Product Manager of SkyShip Engineering, and in this tutorial I'll guide you through the process of modeling and designing a concrete element using RC design. We have created an example called Concrete Structure Tutorial using S3D, where we show how to design concrete elements directly from S3D using the RC design and this lab design modules. So you can go and check that tutorial if you're wondering how to integrate structural 3D with these two concrete design modules. Remember that you can find more information about the designing of concrete elements and many more topics in our documentation. So let's get started. Here we can select the design code that we want to use. In this example, we'll be using the ACI. So we can select it and click on start. This will open a new tab with the standalone structural concrete design module. Here you can put all the project details. You can define a name, the company, the designer client, or any other notes that you want to add to this project. On the Factors and Settings tab, you will find these analysis settings, so you can modify these number of iterations for searching the neutral axis and also the number of points for the interaction diagram. We cannot modify these deflection check properties because as we are using the standalone version, we will be able just to modify these values when we are using the S3D module. So in this case, we will be using this normal weight concrete and the 60 months and over uh, time dependent factor. In the member section, we can define all of our members. In this case, we have by default one beam in one column. We can modify the length or the effective length uh, factors. We can also add more members or delete them. But in this example, we will be using this uh, beam and the column. If we go to the RC layouts, we can define here the geometry for our elements. We can choose between rectangles and T-shapes uh, in the case of our beams. And for the columns, if you remember, that is member number two. We can select a, a round section or a rectangle. Also, we can define all the dimensions and materials. In this case, we have a height of 20 inches and a width of 14 inches. We can also define the material properties, but in this example, we'll leave it like this. It is worth mentioning that we cannot modify this deflection control. We can just do it with the integration of the RC design within the S3D module. So in this case, as we're using the standalone version, we won't be able to do that. Finally, we can define our layouts. So if you use this slider, you will see that this will show us the reinforcement in that specific section. So if I move this, you can see that an another reinforcement layer is added. In this case, we can define more layers or just leave it like this. So I will show you an example. If we want to add a more reinforcement in that in this area and in this area we can add a river layer we can say that it will be at the top and the distance will be 4.5 we just want this to be from the zero position to um, let's say 60 inches so as you can see if you move this slider you will see that a new layer is added so let's do the same in this side of the beam as you can see now we have another reinforcement layer at the top of the beam and we can leave it like this also you can add more share rebar layers but for this example we'll leave it like this in the standalone version we have to define our forces manually 
So, as you can see, you can define ultimate limit state forces and serviceability limit state forces. You can add more checkpoints. So, for example, if you want to add a, another value of moment here, let's say that we want to add it at the 75% of the length, a value of minus 17, you will see that all of these values that we are defining here will will appear in these graphs so as you can see these <coughs> minus 17 will appear at the 75 percent of the of the beam also you can check the share forces for both the ultimate limit state and the uh, serviceability limit states so after you define these forces you can just click on save forces and you can also define or repeat the same process for the columns so we'll leave it like this and now we can run our results so we just have to click here on check as you can see we can display results for sections and members and in this case you can see that we are obtaining four results for one specific member so the reason of these results is that we have four checkpoints so the program will show us results for each of these checkpoints so as you can see we have the same member but the section position is different so that is why we are obtaining all of these four reports if we want to display the results for the members, the program will use these section results and will detect the worst cases. So if I select these members, you can see that we are only obtaining one result per member. You can see here the report, for example, for the first section. Here we define all of the results and values to make all of the validations of our section. If we scroll down, you will see that this bar spacing is less than the one permitted in the code, so we can go back and redefine our layouts. And also it's good to mention that this reinforced section view will be or could be different for each of these reports. Because if you remember, we are working with different checkpoints that are located in a different percentage of our beam. So that is why you could see different rebar layouts on the reports. Finally, if you don't want to modify these rebar layouts, you can use the optimizer. So we can click here. You can define or modify these values if you want, but I will leave it like this and we can run the optimization. So, as you can see, this optimizer gave us the best results or the best layouts for our sections. You have completed the design of concrete elements using the RC design module. I hope this tutorial has provided you with valuable insights into the process of modeling and designing concrete elements using the standalone version of RC design. If you have any questions or need assistance, our team at Engineering is always here to help. Thank you.